Hey there. Everybody, how you doing? This is a helmet holder that I bought for my daddy. And I want to revamp it a little bit for his birthday slash Father's Day. And I'm going to use this metallic metallic finish and chrome to do the beard because my daddy has a white beard he calls it chrome but it's not gray or white it's chrome because <laughs> he's a motorcycle guy so what I'm going to do is revamp this little helmet holder so I'm going to use this silver I need to stir it because all the thick stuff is on the bottom. See that thick stuff? How it does? This is from Ace Hardware. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome stuff. I'm going to stir that up a little bit. And I'm gonna paint the beard and the mustache. And my idea for the top of it is to do red, white, and red, white, and blue like a flag for the head. And it came with this red stripe already. Don't think it's really my dad's style. So I know the flag would be perfect. So let's see. Let me show you how pretty this stuff is. Yep, that looks about right. This stuff does smell, so it's better to do this outside. See a hair or something on there. Look at that. Very metallic. This is not um, water soluble, so you do have to clean, if you're going to clean your brush, you have to use acetone. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. So pretty. They have a gold, which I have. And I think they have, they might have a copper color. I only have the silver and the gold. And it covers so, so nice. So nice. And what I'll do is I will seal it with a clear... Um, Rust-Oleum 
spray paint. Look at that coverage. Do you see that? I do not have to do two coats, which is great. do right here and I'll show you the difference. This stuff is amazing. You will never find a more metallic paint than this and I think you can order it online. See that shimmer? My goodness. It's like literally painting it with um, sterling silver or white gold. Oh, I love this stuff. So amazing. And a little tiny bit goes a long way. See how it spreads? So nice. And if anybody would like, I will post a picture of my dad in the comments of the video. Because his beard is uh, snow white. And this um, helmet holder, I cannot remember the site I ordered it from. It was on Facebook. It was some kind of motorcycle page. They sold shirts and all kinds of stuff. Hmm, what am I going to do with the teeth? I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave them the way they are. I think I'm just going to leave them like that. Okay, so now I'm going to, um, probably going to have to, I've got to go get some red paint and white paint and blue paint and see what I can do to make this look like a flag, an American flag. Okay, so there's that. OMG, I love that. That looks so good. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video and then I'm gonna come back and do the red, white, and blue.
Okay, I'm back with my colors. So the red that I have is True Red by Anita's All-Purpose Acrylic Paint. I do not know where I got that, but I'm going to use this color to cover up this red because, like I said, it came with this red already on it. So, I'm just using what's out of the lid. Oh, and by the way, this dries super fast. Super fast. So. I'm not looking for perfection. By no means. Because I think I'm just going to wing these stripes freehand. Gonna follow this one though. And my brush is kind of stiff, which helps. Very close in color. Putting my pinky on the head to try to get a straight line. I touched, I touched it. That's okay. This is not as easy as I thought it would be. Okay, now what I touched was this spot right here. I need to go get a cup of water though. I did not get a cup of water. Be right back. Okay, so the white that I'm using is Deco Art Americana Gloss Enamel Multi Surface in the color just white. Okay. I said I'm not looking for perfection, but I know the red stripe always goes first. So, let me, hold on. I got a hair in my brush. Okay, I think I got it off. So just so you guys can see, I'm just going to go right next to the white, I mean the red. And about the same width. And I think I am going to go... around the eye right there. See? Right like that. And I'm 
just using what paint is in the lid. Shoot, that one bristle is still there. We got some tweezers. Oh my gosh, I can't even see it to pull it out. Oh, my eyes are so old, I can't do anything without glasses anymore. All right, so let's just, let's just wing it. And I'm gonna hold my pinky. And I'm just gonna follow that red Let's straighten this out a little bit there's um, curves and you know like facial features which are a little bit messing me up but I think it'll be fine definitely have to do two coats on this hmm. let me see how I can do this I really need to hold it this way Looks pretty good. I'm only going to go as far back as this red stripe is. Okay, that looks pretty good. Definitely going to need another coat. And the red is quite thin. Doesn't cover on that black very well. That might need three or four coats. So I'm going to do another red. red, another white, where should I do the blue? I think maybe I should do the blue here. so round. to another white stripe on this side. I can do this without touching the wet, the wet paint. Mm-hmm. 
too bad. Definitely two coats on that. This red I'm a little worried about though because it's quite transparent. Not so sure about. to go find another another red but so far so good do I need another red stripe I you know what I don't think I do I think I'm just gonna do the blue right here with some stars on it. I think that'll be just fine. So I'm gonna let this dry and then um, when I come back, well, I'll let it dry. I'll do another coat of the white and then we'll do the blue and the stars. Okay, so the blue I'm using is called Ultra Blue Deep by DecoArt Americana. So I think I'm just going to do the three stripes. I'm a little nervous doing the stripes. Oh, can I get this off? trying to get the lid off. I got it. It was dried on there. It's a pretty blue. Alright, so I am going to have to do more coats of the white. Okay, but just so y'all don't have to watch me do all that, I'm going to post pictures also so let me just do the blue this is going to need a few coats also you can see it but not as good as I would like, so. So I'll have to let that dry. A 
have to let that dry. Like I said, I'm not looking for perfection, but I think that looks pretty badass. All right, so I'll let that dry. Do a few more coats of the white. The red is good, the white and the blue, and then we'll come back and do the stars. Okay, so here it is so far. Two or three coats of the blue, the red and white stripes, and I know they're not like the best, but I don't think it really matters. So I think it looks badass just the way it is. So, if you wanted to, you could have used blue painter's tape to like make your stripes super even. But, so I'm going to use the end of this paintbrush. Okay, I'm going to dip it in the white. Okay, let's just see. I hope this works. This is my, this is my idea. So I'm going to put a dot right there. And I'm going to go out with it. Ha! Perfect. All right. Now they're not perfect, but my goodness, look at that. That one didn't work out. I don't know. Does it matter because whomever is going to get the idea? You're going to know they're stars regardless. Again, it's the texture of this. It's the texture that's. Making it a little difficult, but I think it looks fine. couple more. One in the corner here. Ha! That looks really good. the way that looks a lot. Like I said, it's a helmet holder. Got the chrome beard and the flag theme going on. Okay, so now all I have to do is um, seal it with some clear Rust-Oleum 2 times X clear sealer, which is a spray paint. So I'm going to do that probably three, four times. And then uh, that's it. Okay, I hope y'all liked it. Like I said, if you want your lines straighter than that and you're worried about being all perfect, just use painter's tape, okay? I'm not because this looks pretty biker to me. 
All right, guys. Thank you so much.